In this video, we are going to recognize situations modeled by linear or exponential functions. An exponential function is a function of the form y equals a times b power x, where a is a constant and b is a constant base and x is the variable exponent, where a is a number not equal to 0 and b is a positive number and b is not equal to 1 and x is a real number. Here's a comparison between linear function and exponential function. In the linear function, the graph is a straight line, and the rate of change remains constant, while in the exponential function, the graph is curved and there is no negative y values, while the rate of change increases by the same factor. Here is another comparison between linear and exponential functions given their tables. As you notice here in the table of the linear function, the x or the variable is in the base, while in the exponential function the x or the variable is in the exponent. Linear function increase or decrease by a constant rate, while exponential functions increase or decrease by a constant ratio. So here is the form of the exponential function, where a is the initial value or the y-intercept, while b is the multiplier or the ratio, and is raised to the factor x. An example, Jason has $17 and quadruples his money every month. Write an equation to represent this situation. So $17 is a, where A is the initial value, which is $17, while quadruples means it is the factor or the ratio B that is multiplied by 4. So the equation would be Y equals 17 times 4 power X, where 17 is A and 4 is B. Now you're going to have a function and you're going to determine whether it is linear or exponential. Given the value in the tables here, for x and y, we can find that y values are decreasing by 5 each time x is increasing by unit value or 1. So this means that it is a linear function because there is a constant difference between them. Another example. You have another table and you are asked to determine whether is it a linear or an exponential function. So if you look at the y values, you will find it is multiplied by 2 each time. So 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20 and so on. While x values are decreasing by 1 each time. So while x is decreasing, y is increasing multiplied by 2. This means that this is an exponential function where the y-intercept or the a value is 5 because this is the 0 and 5, this is the y-intercept, so a is 5, while b is the number that is multiplied each time, so this is 2, so b is 2, and to the power of negative x. In the next video, we are going to learn how to write an exponential function given a situation and how to graph it. So stay tuned to the next video. For more practice exercises, you can click on the link in the description part of the video below. I hope this video was useful. If you like it, please press like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. So to the next video. Bye.